Hello friends, Christy here over at Crafty Christy's Creations, and today we're going to talk about the uh, sketch, what do they call it here, the sketch panel. So I went ahead and I've got uh, the word hello put here in three different fonts, and I've got the sketch panel open, you can see it's down here. Um, there are different options for the sketch panel depending on if you're um, using the basic edition or uh, designer's edition or higher. Uh, you just have more options. But what the sketch uh, panel is for is when you're using your sketch pens or your foil quill, uh, this will help fill in. Um, I know before I've showed you how to um, how I filled in my foil quill with um, internal offsets. And this will fill in your uh, text with different uh, kind of designs to help fill it in. So I'm just going to show you the difference of what it looks like and kind of why you would use these certain different ones. And then we'll go ahead and sketch them out and show you what they look like completed. So this first one here, um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this one in. Um, I like this zigzag one. And you can see what it does is it fills in and then you've got your spacing here so you can increase the amount of spacing and that'll put less zigzags in or you can decrease it and that'll give you a more complete fill so you can see if i completely fill it up to the 0.5 we've got some jagged edges but that looks really good so let's see with this little hello and um, if we try this cross hatch Kind of same thing, you can go ahead and decrease that spacing. And you know, that that gives you a kind of a neat look like that. But you can go ahead and fill it in all the way. And I'm just gonna try these in different fills and then we'll sketch them out and go ahead and see uh, which one like looks better so you have an idea which one you would wanna use. And then this one, and then they've also got the sketch edge. So if I just do this for a plain edge effect, and then I can go ahead and fill, let's do um, with this one here. This is the scribble effect. And then we can go ahead and decrease. But you see when you do the spacing, but then when you also add an edge, a sketch edge to it, um, you can tell more how it doesn't look. So if you add a different kind of the scribble edge to it, you can see how depending on the edge you choose, fills it in differently. Got this one. And that kind of, depending on the look you're going for, that kind of looks like a sketched, um, like you kind of sat there and sketched this out yourself. That looks kind of neat. You know, you've got different ones here. Um, I think I kind of like that and then with the spacing really small for the fill and then you can change the angle of the fill as well so you can see as I grab this scroll it doesn't make a ton of changes when we have the spacing so small but if I change that edge and then increase the spacing then you'll see how that angle really changes. So I'm going to leave the space, the angle at 20 and we'll take that spacing all the way down. So now we've got three different looks. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to do this on letter paper. So let's scoot these over and center those there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in my cameo and we'll start sketching and I'll give you a good idea of how well those really filled in. All right, so I've got my paper loaded in, and then I have the Silhouette pen holder, and this is what goes into your carrier here. This is for the ratchet blade. And then I've got my little uh, pen marker here that I'm gonna use, and then this is the one of the, this is the small piece that goes in here. So you take this small one, take the cap off, and then this has, um, a piece that goes on the end, I'm not quite sure where that fell to, but typically what you're gonna do is put that in there so that it goes to the tip. And let me see if I can find it. 
Here it is. So here's the tip piece that just sits on there. And then you push your marker in until it hits the cap. So I press that in there and once it's on there, and then I'm gonna try to screw this part down in to the holder to hold that marker in place. So then when you take that off, you can see where it sits. So when it sits in the carrier, it's gonna touch the paper um, only when it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in, put it down in there, lock it into place, and then I'm gonna come back over to Silhouette, and then I'm gonna go to my send panel, and I'm just gonna send this. So let's see if I can show you my screen here. Here I'm on my send panel. I've got my cardstock as my heavy cardstock. We're gonna change this to sketch as my action, and we're using the pen. And you can see over here it's thinking, but it's gonna go ahead and select all of that. And look how um, this one has really changed on the bottom here. So um, I think because it's just made that outline so thick. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And let's maybe just hit sketch. Let's see what that does. I don't want it to look super thick like that. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've got it all. It's everything is selected and we're gonna go ahead and hit send. It's thinking we'll hit send and we'll come over to the machine and see what it looks like. So it's just sketching all those small lines that are on that hello to make it look nice and thick. So we'll go ahead and draw them all out and see what they look like. Okay, so here is the finished product. You can see that first one looks really well filled in. And even that second one does too. And then here's the third one. Remember, we wanted it to look kind of that hand-drawn, sketched look. So these looked really good. I will say it took quite a while to get these done using that little marker. Um, the thicker the marker you use, it'll be quicker. Obviously, these are also written pretty big. So this is a good technique to use if you wanted to sketch on maybe an envelope just to write, um, to an address an envelope. That's another good option for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.